Ken Siegel, Apple succeeds because they keep things insanely simple, like the title of your book. Why is it so hard for everybody else to do that? Well, that's actually the reason I wrote the book. I, I worked not only with Apple, I was the uh, ad agency creative director. I didn't work at Apple, but in that same capacity as an agency guy, I've worked with other companies like Dell and Intel and IBM. And my experience, to be honest, you know, the experience with Apple was very, very good, but it really didn't dawn on me to write the book until my, I had my experiences with the other companies <laughs> because they, they seem incapable of, of making things simple. You know, again, I look at things from the marketing side, but they build these processes into the system that just make things take three times as long and, and multiple layers of, approvers, of approvals and committees and all these kinds of things. And then you get to the end, the end product that's supposed to be made so much better because they, they do all this complicated stuff and it's actually not better. And you worked directly with Steve Jobs on this. What was his secret for keeping things simple at Apple? Well, he's given, uh, he, he has been quoted in the past as saying things like, you know, uh, Apple you know, is like the world's largest startup. We have no commi zero committees at Apple, that kind of thing. And I think that was his, his way of working. If he ever sensed anything was starting to reek of a big company behavior, he would just quash it and you know, do it in the style that he's famous for. So if he detected behaviors you know, that were starting to feel like a big company, it, you know, something that was just too complicated, he'd say, we're not doing that. Do you think that Tim Cook will be able to keep things insanely simple as the company grows? It's nearing almost a trillion dollar market cap. Interesting question because this whole idea of acting like a startup, you know, is fine. Well, even when Steve said that, they were a huge company. But as they become even huger, you do have to ask yourself how long that can go on. I think Tim, uh, I don't know Tim personally, so, you know, from what I've seen and heard, I think he's perfectly capable of carrying the ball forward. I think what Steve created, you know, was, was very much institutionalized. But you have worked with a number of different companies as their creative director. Which companies do you think have the promise to succeed in the future? Because investors out there are looking for the next Apple. Apple has already run up. People want to find companies with that kind of potential for growth. Anyone out there that can learn some of the lessons from Insanely Simple from Apple? Good question. Um, again, I, I can only speak from my experience, with, with, which was with these larger companies like IBM and Dell and Intel. And those people had issues. They had com complexity issues, shall we call them. Um, I'm sure that there are companies that work more uh, in an entrepreneurial startup kind of fashion. I'm not personally aware of any, but any advice for entrepreneurs out there starting out? Should they uh, create a, um, some sort of, of a list of things to do or, or a mandate how to keep things simple before they start growing too quickly? Interestingly, I think Steve his way of doing it was just instinctive. You know, if you started to behave in a certain way, he would just sort of swat you down and say, we're not doing it that way. Um, part of me, I'd like to believe somebody could go in with a list and say, here's what we're going to do, but I, I think that's almost a big company behavior right there. I think you need to just understand, it, a lot of it's just common sense. I think people don't give Steve credit for that part of his behavior. It, it, yes, he was genius in many ways, but a lot of his decisions were just common sense. There's a right and a wrong. The problem is that sometimes the right comes with greater expense or greater, greater time, or, you know, whatever the effort that require, was, would be required. Um, in the Dells and Intels of the world, I found that people would say, well, that costs too much, we can't do it. Steve seemed to be you know, uninhibited by those kinds of considerations and would just really do the right thing.